So, now can you tell me, now I have some notation with, so gamma i of x is there. So, can you tell me what is then this prob i of uh, probability sub i of x given sigma i? Mm -hmm. In this gamma i of x. So, it is equal to sigma i of gamma i, where gamma i belongs to gamma i of x. So, let us absorb this properly. So, this here is the probability of choosing a pure strategy gamma i. This summation is over all pure strategies gamma i, where the action leading to x is being chosen and that is exactly this term. Okay, all right, good. Okay, okay, next. So, what if it was a behavioral strategy now? So, suppose, suppose player I plays behavioral strategy B I, then can you tell me what is problem this? So, if he is playing a behavioral strategy B I, then it means that along all along that entire this this whole place here along all, in all these nodes he is again going to be taking the exact same actions that we just mentioned okay but then he how is he randomizing every time he gets to an information set he chooses an action at random okay and uh, sort of implicit in all this is that if this randomization is being done afresh means independently at each information set okay so there is independently he independently tosses a coin and chooses a uh, an action at each in, at each in, uh, information set which means that essentially this therefore what is this equal to this is the probability of choosing the first action times the probability of choosing the second action times the probability of choosing the third action etc because at each information set he is randomizing in separately right. So, there is an independence across the time epochs ok. So, therefore, this will be the product of first let us write this. So, this is the behavioral strategy of player i the probability with which he chooses and the action leading to x ok. So, suppose he is at a node x i. So, the suppose he is at a node x i l small l the action that he chooses in on the path leading to x is a of this arrow x right this is this was our notation this was our notation here okay so a is the action at x leading to x okay so we want the action so what what this means is when he is reached the node x i l is going to take the action a i of x i l arrow x a i of x i l arrow x at node x i l clear. This here this uh, this specifies the gamma i's yes, uh, but uh, the the in the sense that yeah mm, no no because on all other information sets the player can do anything. Yeah, yeah. So, on these information sets these actions are being taken correct that is right yeah ok. And remember this behavioral strategy is this action given information set right and let us write this I will have another notation here. Ok. So, I now what is the product over oh, yeah l going from 1 to l i x ok and this here is the info set containing x i l ok. Now, uh, technically I should be careful here this is if l i x is positive ok. Uh, the if l i this is if l i x is positive that means if there is a path actually where uh, from x for on if he if player i does play along this path ok. If he does play along this path if he does not have any information set on this path if um, then he is not even playing on this path that means l i x then is 0 ok. If l i x is 0 uh, then what should be this probability? 
one. It's because his com it's his com contribution to that product, right? He doesn't con he basically has nothing, no action. So so uh, the probability for the, for that the probability is is one. Okay. All right. So now you have clarity. Okay. So how do we compute the probability of reaching node X of player I taking actions leading up to X under behavioral as well as under mixed strategies? Is this clear? Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to uh, let us come back to our the statement of our theorem. The state the statement was for every behavioral strategy has an there is an equivalent mixed strategy. So, what we will now do is we will take an arbitrary behavioral strategy, construct from there a mixed strategy and show that the two are equivalent. Okay. Now, to show that two, the two are equivalent, we will have to show that the probability of reaching an arbitrary node like this is the same under behavioral or mixed regard under the two, uh, two strategies regardless of what the others have, are playing. Now, the regardless of what others are playing becomes very easy here because, because Remember this, 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 pro, this whole thing, this expression here. You see what happened to this expression. This expression actually became a product over players. So the components contributed by the other players are going to be the same in that equation. So when I write out this, each of these is actually a product over the players, right? So this is a pro. Uh, sorry, this times and that this is on the left hand side and same thing on the right hand side, right on the right hand side I will have this. this here and this here is the same right because this is when with player i playing bi and others playing mu minus i that thing becomes this left hand side with player i playing uh, sigma i and others playing mu minus i you get the term on the right hand side but the contr and you, the reason you get this product is because the players are uh, are randomizing independently so you got this decomposed over the players Right, so you have player I's contribution here, and this is the all the other players' contribution. This is player I's contribution. This is all the other players' contribution. But all the other players' contribution is going to cancel out from both sides. So all I care about is player I's contribution. Okay, this is remarkably elegant actually because you saw when we set this up, we said that this is a looks like a very demanding criterion. Regardless of what others others play, I should be able to reach the node with the same probability. But actually, it, in fact, it doesn't. You know that is how it should be because you know you don't want to. Uh, you, the the when you once you set it up this way, it actually uh, it actually becomes uh, very clean because what the other players play is can be held can be cancelled out from both sides. So this this part has to therefore become has to be somehow shown to be equal to this one through a suitable construction. Okay. So, what we are going to do is we will start with a behavioral strategy B i, construct a, sig a corresponding sigma i and show that this term, okay, maybe I will just write this, uh, this term is equal to this term that is going to be the agenda. All right. So, now here is a here is the uh, so let, so now for the proof let B i be a behavioral strategy. of player i. Okay. Now, I want to construct a mixed strategy. Okay. So, sigma i of gamma i, this is the, now I am going to construct a mixed strategy sigma i and so what means that for every pure strategy gamma i, I need to give you a probability okay, with which that pure strategy is being chosen. So, the probability is like this, See, you construct it like this, you, you do this. Suppose you first let us write this. So, this strategy uh, pure strategy gamma i specifies an action for player i at each information set. 
So, at information set eta i, it's, it specifies the action gamma i of eta i. This is the action that this uh, is to be chosen at this information set. Okay. Now, you look at the probability that you choose this action under the behavioral strategy b i. Okay, which means what is that probability that is equal to this b i of gamma i of eta i given eta i. And what you do is here is the uh, very interesting thing you do a product over all information sets of player i. Okay. So, a pure strategy is a sequence of actions. Now, what you what he is basically doing Kun what he is doing is he is saying let us take the probability with which each of those actions is being chosen under the behavioral strategy take the product of all of those. Okay. That is the probability of choosing that pure strategy under so it specifies a mixed strategy and gives you the probability of choosing that particular pure strategy okay now question is firstly why is this even a probability this is the first thing we need to establish right you can give some formula but why is this even a probability so what we need to first check is is sigma i greater than equal to 0 and does, does it satisfy this which is So, sigma i greater than equal to 0 is trivial of course, it is, but this is what needs to be shown. I need to show that this is in fact a, a probability that this sums to 1. Okay. So, so what we need to show is first this so, you take this product this is the probability of choosing um, a pure strategy gamma i sum this over all gamma i in the set of all pure strategies and what we want to show is that this is equal to 1. So, this looks horrendous in the in its uh, in the way it is written and all that, but there is actually a lot again very it is super elegant due to various reasons ok. So, I will so let us let us understand this. So, this is the set of all pure strategies can you express this in terms of information sets and actions. I keep asking you this right how many pure strategies does a player have so, how do you find out how many pure strategies. So, if you have say suppose k information sets and you have uh, m actions and m actions at each information set how many pure strategies does the player have m power k right. So, how did you get m power k? you take the number of actions at each information set multiply 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 right. So, that and you multiply k times you get that. So, actually this same this basically gives us a way of of enumerating or or of describing the set of all pure strategies. See the set of all pure strategies is, is essentially equivalent to taking the product of the action sets at over all information sets. It is essentially a long tuple of actions the length of the tuple being equal to the number of information sets. So, I can do the following I this I let me write it down then it will be clear this the set of all pure strategies is in fact the same as this. What was my notation for actions at an information set I think. So, let me write like this ui. So, this is the set of actions of player i at information set eta i. So, what am I doing here? I am taking a Cartesian product of the action sets. Every element of this whole Cartesian product tells me this action from this information set, this action from this information set, etcetera. It gives me a basically one action per information set and that is a pure strategy, right. So, the set of all pure strategies is actually equivalent to this product essentially the product of all the action sets ok. So, therefore, what this means is this summation that we have here can be written like this ok. I can write something like this I can write a i 1 in u i eta i 1 a a i 2 in u i eta i 2 dot 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 let us say there are 
uh, k information sets then a i k u i eta i k k is the okay this times then my uh, this thing times the product over now i can do a, a product over uh, let's say l equal to 1 to k b i of now what is what is b i what do i need to write in place of b i well b in place of b i essentially what i am now talking of taking action a i uh, a i uh, l at information set eta i l right so i am writing a i l eta i l So, this is the first action, this is an action from information set, from the first information set. Several actions. This because a i is i is for player i, 1 is the first information set. So, a i 1 ranges over this set. Yes, yeah, because I am summing, see I have to take the product of all these sets. So, I range over every so it's like a product of uh, it's uh, you are you are summing over a, a large tuple of variables first you sum of the first component then you sum of the second etc it's essentially a very very la uh, very complicated uh, multi sum here okay times this product okay the times this whole product okay but once you see this this actually becomes very easy so essentially now now all i need to do is well this here there is a product here there is a product there is a sum outside so, what I can do is I can take the kth term inside and sum over only a i k. Okay. So, let us look at the kth guy here. The kth guy here depends on a i k. So, the summation over a i k can go inside and the rest goes out comes outside. But, so what is going to happen is I have a summation over a i k in u i eta i k I have b i of a i k eta i k all right and then outside I have my product now going from l equal to 1 to k minus 1 b i of the same thing and then I, and here I have my summation over a i 1 all the way till a i uh, a i 1 in u i eta i 1 all the way till a i k minus 1 in u i eta i k minus 1. So, now what is this? This is the sum over all actions uh, uh, the behavioral the, the probability of uh, taking that action summed over all actions this whole thing is actually 1. So, this no there is more to it because of the structure of the problem i mean it's uh, the the um, so this this identification is important that you can identify the set of pure strategies uh, with the uh, with the set of actions Uh -huh, of course, this is just a, this is okay, this is just a joint distribution which I am going to say well it has to, yeah, yeah, I mean I am just doing the product of marginals or whatever, okay, alright. And then therefore, this guy sums to 1 and so this whole thing will telescope and you will get finally the whole thing will become 1, okay. So, what has this shown? This has basically shown this claim here that sigma constructed this way is now a valid mixed strategy, okay. We have not yet shown that it is equivalent to B i. Okay. To show that it is equivalent to B i, we now need to argue that this is equal to for all points for all nodes x. Okay. 
all right so let's let's begin with the left hand side so left hand side is is this Okay, by the way, I forgot to mention, I was a little bit of a hurry. Okay. So, where did we use that, uh, that the path from root to x passes through an information set only once? Which product? Which, this one? This is just a construction. Hmm. This, this is, this is just my construction. I mean, I am free to define it whatever. Ha, huh, the one above, okay. This says that of x and information of x, hmm. probability of taking a particular action with this. So, it, it has implicit in it that just one action is being taken with this. Which means that there is just one x. Hmm. So, the fact that I have written this, see, see here is the subtlety. Basically, I wrote out a path. I actually wrote out or rather I wrote the nodes along which the player plays. I, that is x1, x1 whatever, what was this? Yeah, xi1 to xi lix, right? This is the, these are the nodes at which the player plays. The, the nodes at which the player plays is, will be equal to the number of information sets provided each node, provided the path intersects each information set at most once or exactly once, right. So, so if the, if this is the nodes at which the player plays, now if an information set passes through two nodes in which, on which an, inf on which the player is playing, then this, this product cannot be tagged to the number of nodes. It will have, to, the, this product is really over the number of information sets, but we have enumerated it over number of nodes. And that is because every information set is intersecting the path exactly once. When a player is playing, it is playing uh, at each of these nodes, he is playing in a distinct information set each time. Is this clear? So, this is where that has been assumed. Sorry, I am I, in my in, in a hurry to do this, I have actually, uh, I forgot to point this out. Okay. So, is this clear? So, this is where we have made the assumption that e, the path, every path intersects every information set exactly once. Or at most once. Okay, all right. Okay, so now let's come back to this. So now we want we have uh, this probability. This probability we said is equal to is equal to uh, sum over gamma i in capital gamma i of x sigma i of gamma i. Now sigma i of gamma i, I we just have a construction for that. which is the product over eta i, which is over all information sets of b i of gamma i of eta i given eta i. Okay. So, now let us, so i i is the set of all information sets of player i. This let us write it in the following way. Let us write it as i i 1 union i i 2. This here, these are the information sets on intersecting the path from uh, root to x. Okay. So, these are the information sets intersecting the path from root to x okay. and these are the other information sets. Okay. Then in that case, I have summation gamma i in gamma i of x and then this pro, uh, the product then can be written as you have one term which is I 1 
and now what is this? This was actually the same as what is this? This is the probability of taking the these actions along uh, probability of taking actions leading to x ok under the behavioral strategy b i. So, this is nothing but my problem ok. So, so, and this term here the second term then just remains. So, this guy and ok the first so, this is probability of x given b i. So, this has nothing to do with gamma i. So, this will come out and what I am left with is then this is this probability this is going to be a this summation is over all gamma i's which take actions leading leading to node x ok. So, what is this summation equal to what is this whole thing equal to no it is equal to now the probability under b i right probability of reaching node x under under b i see this is exactly the same actions that you would need to take under but under behave under the behavioral strategy b i ok. So, the uh, so if this that is that is why this now becomes independent of the specific choice of the pure strategy because you though the, 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 the those in fact that answers this question also see the, the this automatically specifies for me the the sequence of ac pure actions that I need to take right. So, it has it has told me what uh, uh, so so, that part of my pure strategy is already specified and it is fixed. In fact, I have to take those actions in all my every function in gamma i of x, every strategy in gamma i of x takes exactly those actions ok. The probability of taking those actions under the behavioral strategy is 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 here all right. Now, what what is this summation then? Here I am allowed to take other actions at other information sets which do not which are not along the path from root to x there I can do whatever I want right. So, in short this is this is nothing is in fact like exactly like this summation it is exactly like this summation, but on the remaining part of the tree where which is not go, going from root to x. So, this thing actually sums to 1 ok because the set of all that is actually the so the this is over gamma i in gamma i of x it is actually not gamma i of x that restriction does not uh, make a difference to this this summation because anyway this is the inform the information sets involved here are not getting constrained in the choice gamma i of x ok. So, this whole thing therefore, becomes equal to just this all right. So, this so, this basically has shown that your uh, uh, the uh, the uh, for if if you have if an information if your path from root to node uh, root to this thing uh, intersects each information set exactly once or sorry, at most once then every behavioral strategy will have a equivalent mixed strategy is equivalent to sigma i. 